it's pretty ironic that while George Lucas is halfway around the world talking about how Disney completely missed the mark when it came to Star Wars, that everyone at Lucasfilm is busy celebrating themselves for missing the mark when it comes to Star Wars because the show that everybody has been dreading for months and months is finally about to be here. The Acolyte had its premiere a few days ago. Here's the cast from The Acolyte. You could play Where's Waldo. It's basically spot the white man in these photos. But we've seen the reaction, the response from the fan base towards The Acolyte over the last year or so. And it's been incredibly vitriolic. That first trailer that was posted months ago, we saw what happened. The first Star Wars trailer in history to be ratioed by the fans, and it wasn't even close. Over 700,000 dislikes to 194,000 likes. We've talked about the comment section. We've talked about every subsequent trailer they've uploaded that has also got ratioed. The fans know that this thing is going to be another Lucasfilm disaster. All you had to do was listen to the showrunner when she said, you know, this is really going to reflect my own queer identity. My experiences as an ugly lesbian are going to be very important when it comes to telling these stories. You see the cast and crew, all they were talking about was diversity and representation and female empowerment. We really need more female-focused stories in Star Wars. Apparently, these people haven't witnessed the last decade of Lucasfilm, but I digress because there are some people that love the Acolyte because at this premiere, as it was celebrated, we saw the mainstream media, the journalists come out, and who could have imagined that they would love the Acolyte? Star Wars The Acolyte reviews, critics share strong first reactions, and of course, it's, oh my gosh, Leslie Headland, she was just so amazing. Oh, Amanda Stenberg, the lead actress, she just slays in this. Just paragraph after paragraph of these people and their first reactions just gushing over the acolyte. Was there ever any doubt? This is legitimately a show that's made for them. It always has been. Like we said, from the comments about Leslie Headland, from the comments of the actors and actresses involved talking about how important it is to see black women be so strong in Star Wars, to them bragging about hiring a transgender actor the first time ever for this series. And you can just look at some of the activist websites. Upcoming Star Wars TV show, The Acolyte, is packed with LGBTQ plus talent, and we're already obsessed I think everyone understands what's going to happen. I think we've understood for quite some time that in all likelihood, again, we haven't seen the full series yet. Maybe there's a chance, there's a snowball's chance in hell that this thing is actually good, right? That this thing is the most phenomenal series we've ever seen. There's the potential that that could happen. However, what I think is far more likely are the critics are going to praise this thing. They're going to suck it off. They're going to do everything they can, just like we've seen over and over again for Star Wars. The same people that were praising dog shit like Mandalorian Season 3 and the Obi-Wan Kenobi series and the Ahsoka series. Right? These same people are obviously going to be even more excited for that type of Star Wars, woke new Disney Star Wars, but this time with more representation. And the fans in all likelihood, are going to reject it. We're going to see people that are labeled this, that are labeled that, instead of them just realizing that, you know what, maybe agenda and representation and all these ancillary things, maybe we took that more into account than we did actual storytelling. Maybe we decided we wanted to push this and push that instead of honoring George Lucas, honoring Star Wars, and making something for the fans. Only a few weeks left until everybody gets to judge for themselves and somehow I think there's going to be a little bit of a disconnect between the critics and the audience. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments section below. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.